I'm Janine Garofalo, and you're watching Comedy Central. Hello, I'm Ben Stein, and today I'm going to make history. I'm putting up $5,000 that says I know more than you. So if you're smart enough, fast enough, and if you've got the guts, you can win Ben Stein's money. It was the worst of times. And this could be either for me, depending on what happens to the $5,000 of my money. I'm putting it on and giving these three totally furry strangers a chance to take away from me. If, but only if they're smart enough. Now, you may ask yourselves, why would I do such a thing? Call me crazy. You're crazy! Suppose you think I don't have any feelings. That's what the people at the post office thought, too. <laughs> also, call me fairly sure that they don't have a chance against me. Now, before we go any further, it's time to introduce the Scarlet to my ret. The one and only Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Contestant number one today is Ted Kozlowski. Ted is an executive assistant uh, who attended the Arnold Schwarzenegger Maria Shriver wedding. Were you a guest or paparazzi? I, I was a caterer. You were a caterer. At the I, did, I had Unison Sergeant at my table. Did, uh, did Arnold write his own vows? Uh, I wasn't at the wedding. Oh, you weren't at the wedding. No, you but I saw him smoking cigars. Serving up the hash. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that was a hell of a story then. Thank you. Uh, Mary Gabe is, <laughs> is a legal assistant, and uh, she loves to travel, loves to travel so much, she once spent an entire year uh, driving through Mexico in a van. You had exactly. some trouble with the law, Mary? No, no, not had at all. Had some people after you? Nobody. No. Can you no. imagine what it was like in that van? <laughs> I can only imagine. How could you think such a thing of me? If Mary is indeed your new, your real name, <laughs> then uh, Andrew uh, Burnick is from Fresno. He's a bartender, and uh, his hobby is uh, what extreme, uh, what inner tubing? That's correct. In okay, the there time. are officially now too many extreme sports. We <laughs> <laughs> get back to the regular. These are the contestants, Ben. Contestants, contestants, good luck. You're going to need it. Now, everyone, please turn your attention to our game board as Jimmy tells us our first five topics. And they are famous White House recover ups. <laughs> We are two wild and crazy gays. <laughs> Declarations not uttered by Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> Belgians who rarely waffled. <laughs> and silly rabbi tricks are for kids. All right, contestants, in the first round, questions are worth anywhere from $50 to $150 of my money. We're going to start with you, Extreme Andrew. Pick a topic. Uh, Declarations not uttered by Ellen DeGeneres. $100 question. What are the first seven words of the Declaration of Independence? Mary. We the people of the United States. I'm so sorry, no. Ted. We the people of the United States of America. No, sir. No. Andrew. We the people of the United States in. No, I'm so sorry. Sorry. When in the course of human events. But, but since none of you got that right, even though you have many other accomplishments, uh, $50 toss-up. What are the first seven words of the preamble to the U.S. Constitution? Mary. We the people of the United States. Very good. Hey. Very good. Hey. It's like schoolhouse rock in here. Our next category. Is that a flag pole in your pants? <laughs> How about, we are two wild and crazy gays? $150 question. The 1996 movie, The Birdcage, is based on what 1979 French film starring Ugo Tognazzi? Ted. La Cage au Fond. Very good. Very good. $50 follow-up. The book of the Broadway musical La Cage au Fond was written by what actor-playwright seen in Independence Day? Sam Shepard. No, sir. Harvey Firestein. Harvey Firestein. I didn't remember him in Independence Day. What did he he play? played the homosexual in that, I think. <laughs> Our next category is 
pigments of your imagination. And uh, Ted has control of the board. Oh, uh, pigments of your imagination. $150 question. In 1902, Edward Binney mixed wax and pigment to create what classic brand of colored drawing implements? Ted. Crayola crayons. Very good, Ted. Very good. <laughs> $50 follow-up, Ted. What kind of soft, chalky, crayon-like pigment sticks, pigment like sticks, did 19th century artist Edgar Degas use for his portrayals of ballet dancers? Uh, charcoal. No, sir. Mm. Mm. Mary? Chalk? No. Aww. No idea. Pastels, pastels. Oh, too many trees now, run into for Andrew. Before I lose any more cash, it's time to take a break. We'll be back to see how much more money these werewolves can take away from me right after this. <laughs> Comedy great Billy Crystal spends a half hour with Jon Stewart during a Daily Show interview special. And my feet touch the ground here, which is Isn't that good. Nice? There's always that talk show nightmare of sitting down and going, and you know, John. Billy reveals secrets about Robert De Niro. He loves Abbott and Costello. Anything with a slapping, when two guys slap <laughs> each other. And does some of his classic bits. Look out, Joe Fraser. I don't talk about Joe. <laughs> don't miss the Daily Show interview special with Billy Crystal, Thursday at 10.30, followed by the Daily Show with Jon Stewart at 11, only on Comedy Central. 1010220 lets you call all over the world at amazing low rates. Dial 1010220 and all calls within the U.S. and to Canada are only 99 cents for up to 20 minutes. Call most of Europe and it's only 199 for all calls up to 10 minutes and just 19 cents for each additional minute. Call Mexico and it's just 299 for all calls up to 10 minutes and only 34 cents for each minute after that. With 1010220 you save all day, every day. Dial 1010220 for great savings all over the world. You have to dig deep to find the source of intrepid solid feel. Reinforced door openings, strategically placed steel beams, and an isolated suspension cradle all contribute to intrepid supple ride. Take away that sturdy foundation and you have, well, nothing. Dodge Intrepid. We're changing everything again. Intrepid is one of car and driver's ten best again. Coolness, lasting freshness, asserts cool mint drops. Coolness outside, inside, a drop of Retson for fresh, cool breath that really lasts. Certs cool mint drops so you can keep your cool longer. Available in cinnamon, too. Ten things I hate about you. Oh, come on, think about it. Me with my arm around you. You covered in my vomit. Ten things I hate about you. Made it PG-13. Starts March 31st. That was interesting. The all-new Volkswagen Jetta. Sometimes everything just comes together. Put together the hottest bands playing their biggest hits, and what do you get? Kaboom from Beast Records, an explosive album featuring 16 tracks that have made their mark on the charts from artists like the Wallflowers. Blessed Union of Souls. The Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. Corner Shot. Add Kaboom to your collection today. We're back with more of Win My, Ben Stein's money. Right now, Ted is in the lead with $300 of my money. And what Ted and Mary and Andrew don't know is that we know that the night before Andrew and Mary got married, Mary spent the night with Ted. The result, this charming little baby that we see on the floor here. Who is the father? Who is the father? Jimmy, what's our new category? And why are you sitting there? I'm sitting on your face, I man. knew you were going to say that. I knew you were I knew you were going to say that. Usually you have no problem with it. Uh, Our new category is... What is it? 
is our new category, looking for life's deeper Armenian. And uh, Ted, you had the last correct answer, so you get to pick. You know, I'm a sucker for upholstery, so let's go with famous White House recover-ups. $150 question. What former first lady overcame her personal abuse of alcohol and pain-killing drugs and established a chemical dependency recovery center? Mary. Betty Ford. Yes, indeed. <laughs> $50 follow-up, also called the European Recovery Program. What plan was instituted by the U.S. to help rebuild European nations devastated by World War II? The Marshall Plan. Yes, exactly. Very good. <laughs> now I'm off your face and on my safe. Our next category is hospital bylaws. And uh, Mary, you have control of the board. Uh, silly rabbi, tricks are for kids. $100 question. In its broadest sense, what term is used to designate the entire body of teachings central to Judaism? The Hebrew Bible, rabbinic codes, and the Talmud. Mary. The Torah. Very good, very good. <laughs> $50, dollars $50 follow-up. The Jewish holiday known as the Festival of Lights is more commonly called what? Hanukkah. Very good. Interesting. Yeah. You know, I didn't know that. Our next category <laughs> is I'm freezing the balls of my feet off. We have less than two minutes left in the round, and uh, Mary, you get to pick. How about, is that a flagpole in your pants? <laughs> I really would love to have had a video of what was going on in her van in Mexico. <laughs> $50 question. Name the South American country represented by this flag. Flag, you said flag. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, uh, that's Mary. Uh, Brazil? Yes, Brazil! Oh. <laughs> $50 follow-up. According to the World Almanac, what Brazilian city is the third largest in the world in terms of population? Rio de Janeiro? No, I'm sorry. Ted? Sao Paulo? Say it again, please. Sao Paulo? Yes, exactly right. Very good. <laughs> I think that was a very good-looking heterosexual man, myself. I think so, too. All right, our next category is... Where to now, St. Peter? And, uh, Ted, you get to pick. Uh, hospital bile laws. $100 question. What organ of the body stores bile secreted by the liver? Ted. Gallbladder? Yes, very good. <laughs> $50 follow-up. The primary function of bile is to aid in the absorption and digestion of what substance is also known as lipids? Uh, fats. Yes, very good. Very good. Oh, that is the end of the first round. Congratulations, Ted. You've got $500 of Ben's money. Mary, you're in second place with $450 of Ben's dollars. And Andrew, I think you should stop going headfirst into the trees with that inline. <laughs> Andrew, don't anyone make fun of Andrew. Andrew was a gentleman. When the show started, he wished me luck. He's the first contestant ever to wish me luck. He's a gentleman. He's this got, isn't always a game for he's gentlemen. He's got brain damage You're, is what he No, had. he's a gentleman. <laughs> well, to you, that's, to you, that's brain damage. Uh, he has no money, so I can't take any back, but uh, we wish you well, certainly, Thank in everything you, you do. These two survivors are going to try to get deeper into my wallet. And I'm going to defend my money by actually becoming a contestant. Stay tuned. It will be very educational and startling. <laughs> Comedy Central Movies presents March Movie Madness. Every Friday night this month, we're bringing the madness to the masses. Get a double dose of your favorite Comedy Central movies. Catch March Movie Madness Friday at 8. This week's matchup, Peggy Sue Got Married in Inner Space. Sophia for $89.95 with a $1,000 cash rebate. Nice seats. Watch this. Excuse me, sir. I showed you a Wendy's chicken nugget for the seat. Sure. It's a 
is more like it, man. Uh-uh. I can do better. Nuggets for your seats? Sure. Wendy's crispy chicken nuggets are irresistible pieces of all white meat that are crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. Best yet, they're just 99 cents every day. Sir, nuggets for your seat. How do you think I got here? Don't forget the nuggets. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. Rated R starts Wednesday, March 31st. It's time to find out how smart Ben really is as we play more of Win Ben Stein's Money. Welcome back. As this round begins, Ted, who was actually at the Schwarzenegger wedding reception, has $500 of my money. Mary, who drove a van through Mexico for a year, has uh, Mary Cheech Chong, has $450 uh, of my money, and I have $4,050 remaining of my original $5,000 stake, which I will now defend by becoming a common contestant. From this point forward, Ben has no advanced knowledge of any of the questions to be asked. Isn't that right, Ben? That is exactly right, and I'm also sorry to say the questions in this round have Oh, horribly risen to the range of $200 to $500 of my money. Look how eager she looks. Yes, whoever uh, has the uh, highest score at the end of this round, <clears throat> whether it be Ted, I'm not the Unabomber Kozlowski, or Mary, Mexico's favorite hobo, goes on to play against Ben, one-on-one oh. -on -one for $5,000. Let's check out our topics. They are popping pill boxes with Jackie O. <laughs> Baby Yukon Drive My Car. <laughs> Hey, I can see my house from here. <laughs> Mama, don't take my chromosomes away. <laughs> and members of the Congress who didn't harass their secretary. Ben, it's your show, so you can. I'll try first. popping pill boxes with Jackie O. All right, for four hundred dollars, what fashion legend designed Jacqueline Kennedy's famous pill box hat? Ted. Chanel. Nope. Ben. Gernreich. No. Mary. Eda Pad. No, it wasn't her either. <laughs> Why it was Halston. Can we try again? No, no, no. <laughs> was it only Halston? one round. Was it Halston. Halston. Oh. Should have designed a helmet for her husband yeah. while he was at it, you know? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm just thinking practical. Our next category. <laughs> the Surrey with the Fringe Festival on top. And uh, Ben, you get to choose. I'll try it. Members of Congress who didn't harass their secretaries. All Ooh. right, for 500 of Ben's dollars oh. in 1916, who became the first woman elected to the U.S. House of Representatives? <sighs> Halston. <laughs> <laughs> Jeanette Rankin oh, is the of correct course. answer. Jeanette Rankin. Wow. Oh, boy, we're not doing too well. I'll You're turn a, the next category. A we're pack pathetic. of dummies we're is pathetic. what you are. Our next category is. Thank you, Mother. May I have another? Two rounds don't make a right. And uh, which one would you like? I'll take uh, two rounds don't make a right. All right. For $400, what crescent-shaped lake between Switzerland and France is essentially a widening of the Rhone River? Ben? Lake Geneva. Yeah, lake Geneva is absolutely right. <laughs> well, if you guys can't get them, I guess Ben is going to have to. Our next category, walking the plankton. Ben? <laughs> I'll try the Surrey with the, with the Fringe Festival on top. For $200, since 1947, what Scottish city hosts a huge annual theater event known as the Fringe Festival? Ben? Edinburgh. That's absolutely right, yeah. Very good. And Mary, you're still with us? Yeah. Mary yeah, is bigly, fast yeah. as a whip. Yeah, your They're buzzers are working and all <laughs> and stuff? Yeah. yeah? All right. Our next category? Want to pluck my G-string? Ben. I won't take that. I'll try uh, <laughs> um, mm, walking the plankton. All right, for $200, feeding only on plankton and small fish. What is the largest shark as well as the largest fish in the sea? Ted. Tiger shark. No. Ben. Great white. No. Nurse shark. What? A nurse Shark. Nurse shark? No, not at all. It's the Some whale shark. shark that we're looking for. The we what? have less than a minute left in the round. Not that any of you are going to win any money in it. <laughs> Our next category is 
This malapropity is condemned, and uh, Ben again gets... I'll take this malapropity is condemned. All right, for $400, Ooh. name for an English clergyman, what is the term for transposing the initial letters of words, such as blushing crow for crushing blow? Ted? Malapropism? No. Mary? Spoonerism? Spoonerism! Very good. Very good. Very And that sound means the round oh. is over. Congratulations, Mary. You've won $850 oh, of Ben Stein's oh. money. And that means we have to say goodbye to our friend Ted. <laughs> oh, don't make me go. Ted, I'm sorry, my friend. You have to go. You've been a worthy competitor, but your history. And since you're leaving, I get to take your $500. No. Take it out of my quiver, touch it to an arrow. There we are. Now we reach the final financial crush. You, Mary. Maybe within moments of winning all $5,000 of my money. That is if you're smarter, quicker, and luckier than I am. And if you haven't been smoking in that van lately, stay in your seats. We'll be right back. Yeah. Sketch the Comic Frontier. I don't have a Chinaman's chance in this election. To boldly go where great clowns have gone before. If you miss it, you are insane. Saturday Night Live, the next generation. Next, only on Comedy Central. In March, the madness begins. Comedy Central Movies presents March Movie Madness. We're tipping off the madness with a pair of back-to-back -back favorites every Friday night. Friday night sounds great. The season's top picks are ready to do battle in prime time. Viper, Diaz, Wayans, Shorty, and Slavin' Tony Edwards lead the All-Star Challenge. The madness begins Friday at 8 only on Comedy Central. This week's matchup, Peggy Sue Got Married and Inner Space. Sometimes, when you hug a corner, you may actually hear it gasping for air. Intrigue. State-of-the-art steering and suspension systems. Intrigue. By Oldsmobile. Start to command performance. Start something. I know what you're thinking. 10-10 this and 10-10 that. You got tens and tens coming out of your ears. You're confused. I understand that. I'm confused. Well, here's a number that can actually clear things up. 10-10, A-T-T, double O. It's for directory assistance. They can help you find any number in America, even if you're a little confused. 10-10, A-T-T, double O. For directory assistance, it's the only number you need to know. Now I'm confused again. Because why? This Saturday night, at a special sneak preview, director Ron Howard takes a look at what happens to an ordinary guy Mad. who agrees to put his life on television Hi. Oh wow! 24 hours a day. Kiss him! Kiss him! We are go for sex, people. From the producer of Liar Liar. I love this show, bro. Ed TV. Oh, this just keeps getting better, doesn't it? Oh. Rated PG-13. Special sneak preview Saturday night. I've been welding since I've been 15 years old. When you weld, uh, you get sunburned quite a bit. Unfortunately, it doesn't tan. It just peels off. Hell, when you're walking around on your feet, you're on those at least eight hours a day here. That's a third of your life. You're standing on your feet here at work. Wolverine Durashox, the world's most comfortable boots, guaranteed. And if you wear them home, you wear them for 16 hours because you go out in the yard and wear them and everything else. Wolverine, boots and shoes since 1883. Wolverine. That was interesting. The all-new Volkswagen Jetta. Sometimes everything just comes together.
Online and traditional traders both get a month of free trades at JB Oxford. Joyce likes to trade online, but Annie, she likes to get advice from a broker. So we both trade with JB Oxford. Online trades are as low as $10 at JB Oxford, and trades made with a broker who can give you advice are just $22. But listen to this open an account at JB Oxford now, and you'll get a month of trading free. Call 1 800 JB Oxford for personalized online investing. you against just me and I salute your Buddha nature. So far you've taken $850 away from me and that is yours to keep no matter what happens. But now you have a chance, albeit a small one, to walk out of here with all $5,000 of my cash to Jimmy is now wheeling towards us in this safe. All you have to do is beat me in what we call the best of ten test of knowledge. Could you explain to the group please, Jimmy? I'll kill anyone who tries to stop me. I'm going to ask Ben and Mary the same ten questions. Mary, if you can answer more of them than Ben can. His $5,000 goes home with you. You can go first or second? First. First? All right. Very good. To your oh. booths. To your booths. That's your booth. To it. All right, Mary. Uh, ben is being locked safely in his soundproof booth. He can't hear us. Hey, Mary, let me ask you this. Yeah. All that time in Mexico, you ever see that donkey thing? Uh, gee, I missed that one. No? No. Nope. Must be a myth. <laughs> I guess. All right, 60 seconds, 10 questions. Let's begin. At birth, what was Ulysses S. Grant's first name? I don't know. In don't know. I'm sorry. Don't okay. know. In terms of heat energy, what do the initials BTU stand for? British Thermal Unit. Yes, based on 1996 revenues, what is the largest U.S. corporation? U.S. Steel. No, what religious leader asked his followers to practice the Eightfold Path? Gandhi. No. What French short story author wrote The Necklace? Um, Maupassant. Yes. On what television network was Bill Clinton asked the question, boxers or briefs? CBS. No. What geological theory states that the Earth's crust is divided into rigid geological plates? Uh, the tectonic plate theory? Yes. Uh, what surgical specialty deals with the disease, damage, and deformity of bone? Osteopathy. No, that is not right. Mary, you got three right. The ones you missed were uh, Hiram was Grant's first name. Uh, GM is the biggest corporation. Siddhartha, uh, MTV is the network we're looking for. And uh, orthopedics was uh, the uh, specialty that we're looking for. All right, let's see if Ben can beat Mary. Ben, can you beat Mary? Uh, I shall try. All right. Well, the number you have to beat is uh, three. I shall do my best. All right. You've got 60 seconds to get three or more. Ten questions. Let's begin. At birth, what was Ulysses S. Grant's first name? Oh, a Simpson. No. In terms of heat energy, what do the initials BTU stand British for? British Thermal Unit. Yes. Based on 1996 revenues, what is the largest U.S. corporation? Um, General Motors. Yes. What religious leader asked his followers to practice the Eightfold Path? Oh, uh, Maharishi Mahesh. No. <laughs> what French short story author wrote The Necklace? Um, oh, God. I'm going to pass that. Go on. On what television network was Bill Clinton asked the question, boxers or briefs? Uh, CBS. No. What geological theory states that the Earth's crust is divided into rigid geological plates? Tectonic. Yes. What surgical specialty deals with the disease, damage, and deformity of bone? Uh, osteo, osteo surgery. No. The Cyclades Islands belong to what country? Greece. Yes. What ballet posture literally means oh, Arabian? Eh, it doesn't matter. We didn't get to it. Ben? Arabesque. Arabesque is right. You got four, Whoa. though. That one didn't count. Let's get Mary out of that booth. Final scores. Mary with three. I'm relieved you didn't get turn it around. I'm very relieved you did not get my five thousand dollars. However, I am more than a little humbled that you're gonna be walking out of here with eight hundred and fifty dollars of money and take Jimmy with you too. And that means that today I've managed to successfully defend forty one hundred and fifty dollars of my money, which I will use to buy 
Oh, no, it's sorry. To take on my next opponent, sorry. <laughs> so I challenge all of you out there to write, call, or email to futility.com in the hope, infinitesimal as it might be, that on some planet, on some distant day, you might win Ben Stein's money. <laughs> Provided by the Jeep, a rugged, water-resistant, 900 megahertz cordless telephone featuring caller ID with call waiting. The Jeep lets you keep talking on the move from Jeep Electronics. Up next, it's the show you've been quoting for years. It's Saturday Night Live. Stay tuned.